Today you will learn how to have a growth mindset. This will improve your mental game. What's going on little Daff? It's Luke Vercoloni, current pro and mental coach at Pro Performance. Today I'm a guest coach with Online Soccer Academy and happy to help you improve. At Pro Performance, we're a player's mental coach. We help develop real mental toughness. Learn more and set up a session at properformance.guru. Before I explain how to have the growth mindset and share exercises to practice, let me share what a growth mindset is. A growth mindset is a mental attitude that our skills and abilities are not permanent. Instead, it's the mindset that our skills can be developed with proper training and effort over time. Having a growth mindset is the key to improving your game and the key to improving at anything. The growth mindset creed is, anything that happens to me today is in my best interest. It gives me an opportunity to learn and grow. Mistakes don't define me, they refine me. They make me a better person and a better player for the next day. Now let's talk about how you can have the growth mindset. Key points. Key point number one, exit the comfort zone. Exit the comfort zone. What is the comfort zone? How do I know if I'm in it? Let's say you're good at taking free kicks. You can put the ball in the upper corner five out of 10 times and you're happy with that, you're satisfied. Well then this is the comfort zone. Instead of chilling in the comfort zone, exit it by setting a new goal to put the ball in the top corner maybe 7 out of 10 times or 8 out of 10 times. Then work hard on your technique to improve. The harder you push yourself, the quicker you will see improvements. Never be satisfied. Know you can always get better if you push yourself. Key point number two, embrace failure. Failure happens. You're not perfect. Yes, you want to be confident, but don't be unrealistic. Failure happens to everyone, including top pros. Failure is a crucial element in success. The best pros are at the top level because they failed the most and kept pushing through it. Reframe your perspective on failure. IBM CEO Thomas Watson said, if you want to increase your success rate, double your failure rate. Key point number three, focus on the process. Results come from the process. If you focus on things outside your control, such as wins or praise or stats, then you take valuable energy away from the things that you can control. Focus on the process. Understanding that your skills aren't something that you're born with, but are grown through deliberate practice over time is crucial to owning the growth mindset. Exercise to practice. An exercise to practice your growth mindset is journaling. Try journaling this week. Create a note on your phone or in a workbook. Before every practice this week, answer the question, do I have the growth mindset today? Am I focused on improving? After practice, answer the question, was I focused on getting better or was I focused on the results? If you improved, awesome, great work, you're on the path to getting better. If you focus on results, like winning, scoring the most goals, etc., make a note of this and try to shift your mindset towards focusing on improving, growing, developing for the next practice. This journaling will hold you accountable and help evaluate your thinking. Remember, you perform better when you focus on improving and this will lead to even better results. Bonus exercise, how to speak to yourself with the growth mindset. Don't be fixed or stagnant, be evolving. For example, don't say, I'm never gonna be good with my left foot. Instead say, I'm not very good with my left foot yet. Another example is, I'm awesome, I was born a goal scorer. Instead, you might wanna say things like, my hard work is paying off. Last example, don't say, slide tackles just aren't my thing, instead say, Slide tackling will take some time for me to master, but I will. Now you try it. Think of something you're not very good at, like shooting with your weaker foot. Ask yourself, how do I describe my left foot to people? Do I speak with a growth mindset or do I see this skill as something permanent? If you speak with a fixed mindset, change it. If you already speak to yourself and to others with a growth mindset, keep it up. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy video. Click on the screen or in the description to visit properformance.guru. We help develop real mental toughness. Learn more and set up a session at properformance.guru. It was fun being a guest OSA coach. Say a little dap in the comments and let me know what you thought. My name is Luke Vercoloni and remember, if you believe in it and back it up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!